Hi everyone, today I'll be looking at the soldier ants. These are your guardians, shooters and carriers that are built in their respective barracks. You can assess their stats either from the troop camp, click on the troop, click on the troop they are looking for, click on the eye, and then you have all the stats up here. Otherwise, you can click on the uh, barracks, click hatch, find the tier that you are looking for, and click the eye, and you have the stats once again. I'll be comparing across the same tier, which is the tier 7, and this is the tier 7 guardian. Guardians are in general are defensive ends, they have relatively low attack, high defense, high health. The power is common and the same across the different classes. The march speed is slow and the load is also the same across the different classes. Shooters are your attack ends. They have very high attack. The defense is low. The health is very low. The power is once again the same. The march speed is low and the load is the same across the three classes. As for the carriers, they have an attack that is higher than the guardian but lower than the shooter. They have the defense of the shooter. They have health that is higher than the shooter but lower than the guardian. The power is the same. They have high much speed. Remember the other two classes had 12 on the much speed. The carrier here has 15. The load is the same. So here you have uh, carriers not being the highest attackers or the highest defenders but taking somewhat of a middle road, uh, being the more balanced end, having both reasonably good attack and reasonably good, def good health, um, uh, and then specialising in being able to move very quickly with very high match speed. The, the ants are also specialized uh, based on their evolutions in the evolution fungi. For each class, you have an evolution tree. The evolution tree is common uh, on some of the evolutions uh, while differing uh, between the classes on some of the other evolutions. So the common evolutions are increase in the class attack, defense, increase in type advantage against another class. So guardians are strong against shooters, shooters are strong against carriers, and carriers are strong against guardians. The third row has got skills that are different between the three classes. This one increases the type advantage further. This is more type uh, class, uh, uh, more guardian attack, more guardian defense. And then we have the enhancement or the boost attack, um, uh, followed by um, reduction in hatch cost, increase in mutation cap more class advantage, ability to mutate uh, tier 7 to 9 uh, ends, and then uh, another two skills which differ between the classes, and then at the top you have the tier 9 end unlocked. So uh, here we look at the guardian ends uh, third row and the second last row. 
the skills for Guardian is to decrease critical damage taken, increase garrison defense, increase garrison attack, and to increase uh, Guardian defense. With these four skills, you can tell that the Guardian is um, designed by the game to be garrisoned because that's where most of its boosts come from. And it has an extra defense boost here. So um, it's meant to be your defender ant and uh, take hits and not take too much critical damage. The shooters are the attacking ants and looking at its particular skills, you have increase in crit rate, increase in invasion defense, increase in invasion attack, and increase in attack. So if guardians are your defenders, shooters are your attackers, you get the most boost out of shooters when you are invading. Um, uh, and they are meant to be there attacking the defender. Carriers, remember they had the highest march speed. Um, their specific um, uh, skills are increase in load, um, increase in march speed, uh, increase in attack in few battles, and increase in health. It seems a bit more scattered compared to guardians that are specialized in defense and shooters that are specialized in attack. Um, but overall, it ends up as a very balanced class and provides a lot of utility. So remember when we are looking at the stats, all three classes had the same load. However, with the shoot with the carrier, with this uh, evolution researched, uh, you the carriers have an uh, increased load compared to the other two classes. The carriers also had the highest match speed to begin with, and this uh, boost um, increases that further. Carriers with their increased load are often used for gathering and when they are gathering, they are prone to being attacked in a field battle. Um, uh, so they have increased attack in field battles to deal with that. Um, uh, the fourth skill here increases the carrier and health. Um, uh, this um, this makes them reasonably tanky, uh, but not as sturdy as the Guardians, uh, but definitely more sturdy compared to shooters. So if you want a front line for your shooters that isn't a Guardian, then you might choose to put uh, carriers in front of your shooters to absorb some damage, because they are certainly capable of that also. Other than their evolutions, we can look at the special ants um, that are specialists in their class. These are the Guard General, Acid General, and the Newell General. Um, for special ants, there are some common skills. So skill one is a uh, soldier cap in the squad. Um, skill 3 increases the class defense, skill 4 increases the class attack, skill 6 increases the uh, class attack and defense for the special for the specialist um, and increases the soldier cap in the unit also. Um, and then the other skills are the skill 7. This applies to the entire unit. 
um, uh, and it's either a tech or a defense or a HP boost. For guardians, looking at this, uh, this increases the guardian and defense, reinforcing guardians as defensive type um, ends. The other, the remaining three skills, the skill two, the skill five, and the skill eight are active skills. For the guardian, guard general, the second skill uh, deals some damage, but thereafter it uh, reduces its own squad damage um, uh, and lasts for quite some time after that. Skill 5 um, uh, deals once again no damage, um, uh, but it reduces the damage taken by two ally uh, units. Sorry, two ally squads. And skill 8 um, is again another crowd control skill. It doesn't do any damage, but it has a reasonably high chance of dealing a silence effect to two random enemy squads in uh, rounds 4, 5, and 6, and it, that silence effect disables their combat skills. So if the enemy is not able to uh, affect the combat skill, then uh, you and your squad will, your unit will receive less damage. The Acid General, um, first we look at the skill 7. Um, instead of being a uh, Guardian Defense increase, 35%, we have Shooter and Attack increase, uh, 35%. Skill 2 here for the Acid General um, uh, deals damage to the weakest enemy squad. Skill 5 deals damage to two, two enemy squads. And it increases the Acid General's squad's attack by 30%. Alright, so it not only does damage, it does a self-boost to damage. And then the skill 8 um, uh, deals damage to the opponent and it increases the opponent's Damage taken by 18%. Alright. So here you have uh, the Acid General reinforcing shooters as your damage dealers um, uh, in the game. Okay, the New World General now. This is for Carrier Ends. Carriers with their skill 7. Um, have a attack boost. So they aren't necessarily particularly defensive carriers, but um, with the attack boost, they are able to deal reasonably good damage. With the skills of the new world general, you have the skill too. Um, being a damage inflicting skill and this skill also debuffs the enemy and it increases their damage taken so this is an attacking skill that increases the damage that you deal against the enemy the skill 5 is a defensive skill so over 4 rounds 2 enemy Squads have their combat skill damage reduced by 35%. So you will receive less damage from the enemy. And then the skill 8 is a balanced, sorry, is a fairly routine damage dealing skill. Alright, so here you have on the new world general, the carrier for carrier ends. Um, uh, two attack based skills one defensive skill that mitigates the damage you take 
and then the skill 7 leans towards attack as well. Um, this makes the carriers a fairly balanced class uh, if you are using the new world general with your carriers. Uh, this sums up um, what the classes, the different types of soldier ants are good at doing. Um, thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.